Right, howdy folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to Carlson Farm. And we are just uh, pulling into the... Let's get some lights on. Into the yard with a load of barley, or well, half a load of barley. And um, yeah, just uh, brought this back. Basically finished a big field of barley today, cutting that. And I've left combine uh, the other trailer, um, truck up there, baler's up there as well. I think Zelso's up there, and I just bought this this one home because it hasn't got a sheet on it. So, um, not a bad pile of barley there. So anyway, I'm gonna knock this off and uh, go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. Please be aware, rain is coming. The time is now nine o'clock. The pressure system stays with us this hour, delivering continued rain showers. Everyone, the sun will be rising in 30 minutes. Welcome to another beautiful day of farming. Well, that's just awesome, isn't it? Right, six o'clock in the morning. I got up fairly early, and I thought I'd show you um, some of the changes I've made to Carlson. Obviously, it's a new save game because um, it's got a few updates to the map. So. Um, yeah, new save game really. So we've got the new house there, uh, which is not bad, but I'm not actually living in the caravan at the minute because um, uh, the house is gutted at the minute and we're refurnishing it. So I've got, I'm just uh, living in the old mobile home. This first field we've done, that is cut and bowed and carted. So, ooh, look, we've got a rainbow. That's the first time I've seen a rainbow on the game. It's bad news though, because that means rain. And there is rain on the forecast. Um, look at that. Is that not just a slurry spreading outfit or what? <laughs> Can't wait to use that. So we've got a, a lime uh, silo there, bulk silo. We've got a um, uh, spray tank there. And then round here, as you can see, I've uh, hedged all this up, so it's a bit more enclosed. And um, I've put in a lovely, nice grain store here, big flat store. And uh, we've got the, as, you know, the class we bought home last night. We've got the TM there with a the pusher on. Um, so we can just dodge through the old hedge here a minute. Because um, I've done quite a bit of editing to this map. So we've got. Um, I've hedged all that, put a load more trees in, in places. Down here, I've dug a ditch. I've got a ditch here. It seems to be empty of water. I mean, it should be water in there. But uh, yeah, ditch all the way down there. That's all hedged and everything. Uh, so yeah, done lots of bits and bobs, like. Lots of bits and bobs. Um, we'll just nip to the nip back to the yard. We'll grab the quad. We'll just nip down to dairy. I'll just show you what I've done down at the dairy as well, and uh, then we'll get on with the, today's video. I know it's been a long, 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 long time since I've done a uh, Saunders Farms video, but um, uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll always say it, and I'll see if I can you know, crack a few more out and. Um, a bit more regularly, lot. Whoa! I need a crash already. Yes, I haven't got my crash helmet on, but we should be alright. It's early in the morning. I'll be that about, are they? Cows there, got quite a few cows. Well, actually, we've got a lot of we've got sheep, we've got pigs, we've got horses there up the other way, um, sort of opposite the arable, you know, the grain store. See, I've put a hedge in all here, 
As you can see, that was the field we've cut last night in the distance outside the valley there. Um, I've done a bit of bailing around that so far. And, um, yeah, we've got to finish the bailing. We've got the combine everything's there to pick up. So I've got a fence in all around here. Um, yeah, then quite a few bits and bobs. You can't quite see all the gear. The gear's all over there. Um, so, yeah, there's a... In the grass field over yonder, there's a pond up dug and put loads of trees up and everything. There's not a not a lot you, you know not a lot else you can do with the yard. You can't sell anything and rebuild or anything like that. So the yard is as is. But, uh, that is for the um, chaser tractor, massive AS. There's a Heston Super Chase on the back. So we've got a few bows in here. We've got a 7, 8, 10. Uh, that is on the feeder wagon. And we've got a TW10 on the chopper. So a uh, bit of classic Ford action there. And of course we've got a 435. Uh, that is actually uh, with a bow grabber on at the minute. The cows are busy eating there. Bit of grub. Snip over this where I've sort of expanded a little bit. See, I'll put in another yard here, and this is where I'm stacking the straw at the minute. So just a little yard, basically, just so you can lose you know, a bit of straw, the odd machine, whatever. And um, yeah, put a load of trees in there and a hedge and everything. So, uh, you know, just got to, you know, make it a bit different lot. Like. And then we've got the Ford down there lot. Like. So anyway, let's park the quad up and let's get on with the job. Right, so I'm just up the field now where I've left all the equipment. Um, got uh, the 8530 there on another big trailer. Um, I've, I've gone big this time, gone big. 8900 Lexian uh, with a, uh, what was it, a 1380? 1380, yeah, 1380. Header on it. We've got a big Axion on the baler. 960 Axion on the old New Orleans BB980. So uh, anyway, the barley is done. There's two fields of barley, so we're just nipping the um, you know, Land Rover. And uh, we'll go and see if the all seed rape is ready. to uh, harvest later. So we've got all seed rope, we've got some oats to harvest as well, and then obviously we've got the wheat. We've got a bit of wheat to get through. So that's some of the wheat, which is obviously that's red harvest as well. We're going to just have a look at this all seed rate. Uh, as you can see, actually, on this video, um, like I've been promising, I'm sort of showing the setup. We've got the Logitech 920 wheel and pedals. Uh, including the clutch, got the main, you know, got the gear stick here, which uh, actually I'm still in auto at the minute. Um, from when I had my ankle done, because um, obviously I can't, couldn't use any pedals at that point, so I'm still in auto. I've got back into manual mode. But uh, and then we've got the side tech joystick here as well, so we are well sorted for realistic farming. Yeah, Alright, looks good, doesn't it? Looks clean. No weeds in it, I can see. Yeah, we'll get um we'll uh we'll get the trailers empty and get the combine over here ready to go. And um 
you know, when it gets uh, at mid morning, we'll go and get stuck into this. Truck there. I'll we'll take the um, you know, trailer home. Get these empty. Get the barley pushed up. Very nearly full load on this. Tip her up. To be honest, I think these two trailers will hold that brake field. They should do anyway. I'm not sure if they didn't, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Right, doesn't yield like wheat or barley does. Right, so uh, let's take the John Deere and then we can uh, push up. Track the old 8530. Right, let's jump in the 320 and uh, see how we get on with this push. I've not, uh, I've not used it before, so we'll see how affected this thing is. This is an old push up. A bit too solid. Not normally, you can't normally um, <laughs> uh, drive up a wheat, a bit, uh, pile of wheat. It's pushing up fairly well, though. You can't just leave it on the floor and um, and it'll push through. It um, will slow you up. Let's see, we got one in camera. Yeah, not too bad. I'm quite impressed with that. You have to, like I say, just sort of fettle it. And um, you're a white lot. Mm, it's quite good though. I 
This is where the old joystick comes in, comes in a treat. You know, just sort of, um, it's only a little one, but um, But it just, just yeah it gives that bit of uh, realism not. Oh, I'm quite impressed how uh, uh, how well this brain pusher works. That's what it says on the tin anyway. Uh, anyone who's ever used one know they're well actually in real life they're Quite tricky to use. Not, well, not tricky, but uh, to use them smoothly is not easy. I had one on, oh, we're talking a long time ago, over 20 years ago now. Um, how long was it? Longer than this one on this game here. Um, so it was another section long, so another six metres. Six metres, I think. And it was on a probably a six, seven metre loader. Uh, it was an old, it was JCB, you know, it was one of the old steel JCB loaders, you know, when they were still, um, you know, there wasn't any plastic on them, they were made of steel, lot. all the mud guards and everything. Um, it was one of them, and, um, yeah, of course, when you got it fully out with the boom fully out, there's a, on the crowd, there's a lot of, um, you know, at the end of that uh, blade, I mean, swings fast. And you've got a fairly low roof and a whole high pile of grain. It's um, you've got to be very careful with the roof. Yeah, I've taken some doing, but I'm getting there. Of course, I haven't pushed any of it up before, so I'm having to push the whole lot up rather than just one load each time, which I you know, probably should have done, because you only do it in real life, you push uh, each load up, or a couple of loads up. But it's going, making the job easier anyway. Right, so we'll get the combine move now. We got an eight nine hundred. Oh yeah. You know what we need to do? Look at that bottom right hand corner. She needs diesel. Right, we'll get the header off anyway. I'm just gonna fetch the Bowser. Does about well a field a tank. I did the field by the farm, filled it up and then I've done this field on a full tank. And uh, we've got to there, so yeah, about a field per tank. But it is a big old combine, isn't it? Yeah, she's 790, 790 also, I think. Something like that. The old engine, thirsty. Right, we'll leave her there and we will get the Bowser. Right, so we're just filling up the Bowser at the minute. And then we'll get up there and uh, fill the combine. Get ready for the day's, uh, day's work. Yeah, this is uh, one of the sheds, and uh, look at that, and look at that, oh yeah. So we've got the plough in here, I'm not sure what the plough's doing quite at that angle, but um, it's been checking over the plough, make sure that's ready. Whether the big mass will take it or not, I don't know, it should do. Um, she's an 8480, it's a big old lump. Um, we've got a 
Uh, very old school fast track, a 150 here. Quite a nice model, you know. Missing a few bits and bobs, like uh, rear light lenses. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll let it off that. But uh, yeah, quite a nice um, track to that. So we'll get using it at some point. Oh, let's see how we're doing with this thing. Uh, about half a load and the combine will swallow, I don't know, what, 1200? 1400 litres, something like that. Oh, look to those. We've got enough on board now. And the less we've got, to be honest, the better because um, I dare say the truck will uh, struggle a little bit. Which would be handy. Spin in a little bit. We certainly know if you've got a full load on there, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Whoa, come on, girl. She's eager. Um, I did have it on the uh, the. Um, Heather table and dragged it up the hill out of the village. Well, I didn't get up the hill out of the village because um, we couldn't drag it. We got halfway up and we ran out of traction. So uh, hopefully we won't have the same problem with this. I'll tell you what, though, with a light on the front, we'll be careful of that. Light on that front axle. What are you doing? Right, so I wonder what the odds are of getting stuck on the field. Well, uh, yep. Well, I, <laughs> I just knew that was going to happen. Yeah, we're set. We are set. So we will bring the <laughs> combine to the bowser, I think. I knew that was going to happen. Just knew it. She's filling up. Blooming filthy, absolutely filthy, isn't she? Wonder if it'll move when it's uh, got a thousand litres less diesel on its back. Might do. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll take the combine down. I ain't going to bother to try and put down the combine. We'll bring a tractor up here and uh, move it with that. Because, sure fact, the uh, Land Rover won't do it. No chance. I'm saying that, ooh, that is a really tight gateway, that is actually, isn't it? Really tight. That's going to be a right bugger to get in there with headed trail. 12 foot, I presume it's a 12 foot gate straight, yeah, straight off the road. Ooh. Yeah, that is not, ooh, yeah, that ain't going to be no fun, that in. No fun whatsoever. I well, didn't take much notice from me coming in with a Land Rover, but uh, hmm. 
Mm. Oh, so I just nipped to the dairy to we'll grab the seven eight ten because she's nice maneuverable. And um Um stands a good chance of well better good a chance of anything to uh move that header. And what I think we'll do, we'll come in the bottom the bottom gateway. because uh, there's a little bit more room, so we'll do that. If that um, can extricate itself later. Oh, finally, we've got the header combine up to the all seat rate field. Ready to um, crack on with that when, well, when the weather allows. It's a bit early yet. Um, and not so we've got rain at nine, I think, so we'll have to just see how it goes. But uh, uh, that'll do for the first, well, the return video, shall we call it. Um, yeah, sorry it's been so long since I did a video, but uh, you know what it's like. Not enough time in the day. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'll see you on the next one for a bit of uh, harvesting of the all seed rape, I should think. So I will see you on that one and uh, yeah, ta-ta.